business owner is closing the book on his business. He says construction along Main Street for the second year in a row is to blame. And CKY's Karen Mitchell shows you tonight other store owners are also feeling the pinch. Driving down Main Street is a major headache these days. It means I have to wake up earlier to get get to work, so it's kind of a drag. But all this construction is more than an inconvenience for others. It's put me out of business. A year and a half ago, Richard Orlandini told CKY News fixing up Main Street would drive him out of business. I'm closing up. Uh, my last day will be the end of September. Orlandini says he's lost eighty to one hundred thousand dollars in business thanks to construction. He says the city could have helped by offering him financial compensation. But that's something city officials say they can't afford to do. Because Winnipeg doesn't pay compensation, then quite frankly the construction companies can take as long as they damn well please. The four and a half million dollar project started in April. After business owners had their say, the city broke the project into two phases to minimize disruption. The first phase is finished. The second phase, just down the street, should be done by September. Our business has been very patient with the whole process. But Marjorie Carruthers' patience is wearing thin. City crews are finished the road work in front of her business, but there are trees to plant, so the snow fence is still up. Carruthers says it's blocking the sidewalk and keeping her customers away. I had anticipated at this point that the construction would be completely out of our area. There would be no visible signs of it, and unfortunately that's not what I'm seeing. And she doesn't know how much longer she can wait. I'm becoming more and more concerned about that because we're losing our entire summer business. And um, we really need to get back to 100% to make up lost revenues. The Exchange Biz Association wants to meet with the city about the sidewalk construction outside Carruthers' shop before there's another going out of business sale. Karen Mitchell, CKY News. City officials say the weather has put the construction behind a little, but they hope to have crews working weekends to make up for lost time. Now, as Karen mentioned, the city expects to complete the project in September. So